Steve. This guy. Right here, crosshairs. You see him? Sure he's different from Age of Extinction, but he's still part of the Siege, one of the newest lines for the Transformers series. And In your face. And him, right here, is a repaint of Ratchet and Ironhide. Alrighty, so let's take a look at the packaging. Dude, it looks close. And he's got his cannon blaster. B blaster. And we got. <laughs> and we got Crosshairs Deluxe Class from a Siege. The World War from Saban Strong. And uh, let's take a look at the back. Here he is in his very nifty pose. I actually like this very nifty pose better than this very nifty pose. I but I think those. this one they have to probably try to give so he doesn't fall over. There is some of the Headmaster and other stuff I guess you can add in there, Battle Masters. Uh, that can be added to this guy. And there he is, which looks a lot to me like... It reminds me of the Orion packs from Generations. And box, you can go over there. And of course this is all that was in the insert for Siege. Yay! Yep. Okay, so let's take a look at him. Some very cool sticker treatment here. That, that looks kind of G1-ish. Yeah, it was Crosshairs in G1? Um, I don't actually know. I know that they made a hot shot for Age of Extinction, and then he wound up not being hot shot. He wound up being Crosshairs. And uh, then he turned into a green Corvette. So this definitely does not look anything at all like Age of Extinction, but you can kind of see. Yeah, I think they actually disguised his foots here as... Uh, like these these exhaust things. Rocket booster. But yeah. They kind of look like feet. Yeah, they do. They do, do kind of look like feet. But I, I, overall, it's it's fine. It's cool. It's very cybertronium. Look at the underside. You don't see the head. You don't see any other transformer cable. It's nice and neat under. Yeah, there. we can see the head through there. But yeah, it, it's cool. No, I think it's good. It, it works out really well. Very clean. Very slick. Uh, it does have headlights. Of course, there's no tail lights, but. You know, we're, this is War for Cybertron, not War for Cybertron on the planet Earth, so... <laughs> I guess they maybe wouldn't need well, I mean, there taillights in Cybertron. Well, I mean, there was Kingdom. Would there, be a, would there be, I mean, there'd be a need for headlights in Cybertron, but would there be a need for taillights? Mm -hmm. An enduring question, guys, that I'm going to spend some time pondering as we send this over to Leo. So, um, I really like the Cannon Blaster, and um, let me show you. There's a secret thing to this. They flip this, and it's a hammer. Whoa. But he's not that hard once you've learned him. <clears throat> yeah, that's the case, I think, for most of um, for most of the Transformers. So, taking a look at him, you can kind of see the... <laughs> you can kind of see the arms right here. A little bit, but it makes sense. I mean, yeah, like, it looks good as the structure of the vehicle. You can also look up in here, and then you can kind of... I mean, you know, here's the thing. I think you always can make some kind of complaint, right? Because if it if it hides all the stuff too well, then it looks like a shell former. And if you don't hide it too well, then you say, oh, well, there's robot parts. So I think it's always a fine line you kind of have to straddle uh, when you're, you know, when, you, when you're trying to figure out how to make something that with some twists and turns basically turns into something else. It's like a gigantic plastic puzzle. So should we get to transforming? I don't see why not. So first, we're gonna start with these panels. I never, saw, I watched the seed show, and I never saw him. He might have been in some background or whatever. Well, I mean, he's so he's is is Ironhide in it? I think that yes, I think Ironhide, Ironhide is in it and yeah. Ratchet. So if those two are in it, then they might might have decided that they don't need three vehicles with the exact same, or three uh, three characters with the exact same uh, transformer and vehicle mode. I I don't actually know. So first, what we're going to do is, since we have the legs like this already, uh -huh. we're going to split that. You see these uh, parts, like the camper parts? You fold those in, and then you put these panels down. Uh, these are the legs. Sorry, this transformation is just so cool. 
Then you okay. take this bumper, it, it untabs, and it folds back here like this. Okay. Then that should be able to loosen up this part, which turns around. Simply put the arms back down, like so. The head. So then you're going to want to fold it like this. Okay. You see, like that. This is how it is on the box. So we're going to keep it like that. Okay. And finally, this is not a necessary step, but then you'll have this. You don't do it. You're going to want to tab that part in. The head up. And also, I'm going to put it in my cool action pose. Okay. Uh, Dad, you can uh, t talk about how we got this guy and blah, blah, blah. Oh, okay, sure. So how we got this guy was uh, like uh, like like many 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 other other uh, kids probably everywhere. Uh, Leo got some uh, got a car from his grandparents and Amazon. they had sent along some monies. And so we there's various toys that Leo got after Christmas. So he basically you got Christmas toys plus you got a whole bunch of after Christmas toys. The beauty of the gift cards is that he was able to choose exactly what he wanted himself directly with uh, the different monies and Amazon cards and stuff. And this was one that came uh, from Amazon and it was actually one that I had considered at one time, but I, I vehicle mode, I was like, well, we already have the generations of Ryan Pax, but we don't really need, we don't really need that. But, but Leo dug it. I mean, that's one of the cool things, you know, is that everybody's got their own personalities and stuff and stuff that appeals to me might not appeal to Leo the stuff that appeals to Leo like everybody's got their own kind of flavor you know for all this stuff so this is really cool Leo just kind of chose this one on his own so can you so maybe you could lower it like this and then maybe maybe you can have a headmaster ride in there battle master I guess they call him now but it doesn't oh it does it not oh it does notch in did you notice that notch is in in there that's kind of cool look at him he's like he's sass this is a sassy pose I'm sassy, yeah. Who wants to have a little of the old sassy hair? Sure. But also, right. uh, you guys hand on his hips. I got, I got, Look at how sassy. Do, 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 do. Well, uh, I, have another, uh, I have another gun configuration thing. Okay, so here. let's take a look at him in robot mood, and then you can throw on your other gun configuration. So you can see there's ports everywhere on this. Port, port, port. We'll, Which, get, we'll get to the weapon part towards in a minute. Ports, I mean, look. Let's count them all. One here, one port, here, port, one port, here, port, one here, port, one here, port, one here. Port, port, so there's port, six port, there, seven, port, eight. Port, port. Oh, don't forget the ones on your legs. Nine, port, ten. Oh, yeah, you can put stuff on. I don't know if you'd ever oh, put yeah, down those could, legs. But oh, there's, yeah, there's a back port behind him. Oh, yeah, there's like 13 different ports that you could either stow the weapon or that you could add. Like, you could make this guy just basically bristling with weapons. There's so many, so many ports. I think that's one of the cool things, actually, about War for Cybertron. Is they clearly meant these guys to just be? I don't think they cared about like how they would look on Earth at all. They just tried to make these guys just just utter war machines. I think that is really really cool. Like the War for Cybertron, there's a lot of duplication, but I am actually super impressed with this line. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm so sassy with my hammer. Okay, so uh, coloration looks really good. You can see he was a blaster on the thing, but yes, you can have him as an axe. But I mean, what would you? You wouldn't actually hit him with this. You just you come close and then blast him at point blank, I guess. <laughs> but uh, his head sculpt is pretty cool. It's got this sort of red thing, uh, and he's got his battle helmet on. So the head sculpt is not a whole ton of detail, but you can turn him 360 degrees if you want. All right, pretty pretty solid articulation on here. And yeah, I mean this is this is really good. This is uh, this is a lot better actually than I was expecting. Right. But if that was that good, I would have probably considered actually getting it. But gun configuration, the, the wisdom of Leo this, I call saves this, the day. I call this the six <laughs> six rocket launcher. Seven pillars of Leo's wisdom guide the way. Oh wait, no, it's six <laughs> blasters. Six pillars of Leo's wisdom blast away. Do you think they know what a Sabaton song is? I don't know, guys. Uh, let's know if you know what Sabaton is, which I poorly did right there. Or Competa. Yes. Like that. Yes. All right. So what was the other part? Oh, so you got him in his gun mode now? Um. Yeah. But also, you see these little ports right here? I forgot to mention. 
I would give it an F. Yeah, because look, you could also do this. Oh, yeah, there was something else. Leo, show them the show them the combining weapons thing. Do we still have that other that other weapon around here? Look, look guys, let's go grab another siege figure. We all know in the video in the description. Alright guys, we have the leader. Okay guys, so we have also from Siege, one of the very best Optimuses ever, Voyager class Optimus. You can see how much taller, well you could have seen how much taller he is when he was standing next to him. Coloration is similar, uh, there's just a little slight difference in the red tone. But they actually look really good together, <laughs> amazingly. So one of the cool things with, um, with the Siege weapons is you can take the weapon from Optimus, which is... And you see that port right there? And you see that port right there? So you can actually just, just plug the weapons together and, and make now you got seven blasters. Super weapons. So, like, if you were doing a CGI movie and you had... The seven super blaster. Well, you had somebody get knocked down, you could actually have the character pick up their weapon, combine it with their own weapon, and then have a super weapon. So you could do some really amazing battle scenes, I think, with that. Let's also uh, put it in Optimus's hand. Yeah, we'll have Optimus hold it for now. Since, um... That, that, is, that is a good amount of, of thinking things through, though, I think. I'm actually kind of impressed by that. Check it out. You have the seven, or it says seven something. The seven blaster, I think. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty crazy weapon like that. Seven Sally. Look, he's he's not even touching. And they, and they're super stable too. Like you can see, he's standing with no problem at all. <laughs> um, he he kind of stands with the problem. He still did okay. He just, I mean, he's leaning back a little bit, but leaning back is always kind of a challenge. Oh, they're buddies. Um, except one is holding on and the other is like that. Yeah. That's cool. That's a really good shot. But the Optimus, friends. <laughs> okay, guys, so there is, uh, so there we have another really, really cool pose from... He's doing yoga. Yeah. From... He's getting a yoga instructor. There we have another really cool pose from totally... Crosshairs. So first, you're going to want to take this part out. That was backpack thing. Yeah. Oh, backpack. I think I have to do this thing first. Yeah, you need to straighten this part out, pull the head in, put this back, and then... Oh, uh, yeah, that'll free that up. Okay. And then, you're going to want the arms. You're not, you're not going to want to put them up like this. Not yet. First, you're going to want to do this part. A little rotation. Rotation. Then you're going to want to put the arms in place like this. Hey, Dad. Hey, what? I think this might be the only channel that does a transforming robot to vehicle and back again. I don't, I you, know, you know, guys, actually, I don't know because we watched some of the other ones and I, we've noticed this also uh, that sometimes people will transform it from one to the other but not back and forth. So they'll do one to the other like we do, and then they'll comment about it, like we do, and then, but they won't actually show you the steps to go back and forth, uh, which I'm, I'm not sure why that's the case. It's something we just noticed lately. lately. I don't know if they've always done that, because I thought at one time they were doing both, but. Actually, I've noticed that ever since I started watching those. Oh, okay, did they always do it that way? Yeah. Oh, okay. So well, we do, it, we do it back and forth. We want to give you guys a complete picture. A complete picture? A complete picture of... Oh, yeah, and also the port is still there, so you can uh, do this. So that would be impossible to drive. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like, go, my dog! But we want to... You know what, though? But we want to actually... Can I see this? But we want to actually show you guys everything back and forth. Oh, there's not a way to do that, is there? <laughs> uh, wait, um, wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 is there, is there a way to, okay, let me see a second, is there a way to, I think you'll end up breaking the figure, no, no I won't, what if we, um, so what if we did this, alright guys, this is about to get really dumb here, but, so what if he just used the, <laughs> the entire transformer as a gun, <laughs> look, it's like he's carrying a suitcase, <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's... Cross yeah, all right. Cross her boy. Okay, so yeah, where, where else for this channel can you see idiotic stuff like that, guys? That's idiotic, really... guys, and you cannot see it in any other chain. Yeah, no, we're, we're definitely, we've got the market cornered on dumb stuff. <laughs> yes! And, but that's actually a signature comedy thing. 
yeah so anyway so yeah guys this is he's cooler than i thought i mean what, what, are, what are you gonna say i mean he's I, I don't like these wheels i wish they were pinned in uh, i'm not a big fan of that but I actually you know what i think this really works it's just that they're so look they're they're like kind of derped out when oh, you do Optimus, that not optimus wheels pinned in. okay yeah some are some are but um yeah i mean this guy is is way way better than i thought so Congratulations to Leo. Let's give him all a round of applause. Good job, Leo. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's a suitcase again. He's after Mrs. Luggage. So, uh, good job, Leo, picking a really cool figure that uh, I would have passed by, guys. So, uh, it just goes to show you, you know, keep an open mind oh, about stuff. He's walking his car. <laughs> he's walking. Oh, no. No, it's a doll. <laughs> we literally just need an arsenal. Oh, my gosh, guys. It's just, yeah, we're, we're off. We're completely off the rails now, which is kind of the danger of this, I guess. But Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for our look at Deluxe Class Crosshairs from War for Cybertron Transformers Siege, guys. And if you did like this incredibly goofy look at this figure, guys, please give us the old thumbs up, guys. Hit the red subscribe button if you have not done so already, guys. The blue notification button and comments are there available when you can do that. Whether or not, please come follow us on our... Can he actually stay like that? No. Please come follow us on our Twitter feed, guys. There's another handhold, but I can't seem to get it to it. Where updates to the channel are made by myself when they happen. Yes, and Oh, wow, there it is. And uh, Oh, kind of looks like he's actually trying to use the gun. But there is. Yeah. <laughs> Let me borrow your gun. No, I'm driving away. But there is, uh, guys. We'll do several posts. Exclusive content, yeah, such as, such as display shots of utterly bizarre poses like this, guys that uh, you can only find on our Twitter feed. So if you use Twitter, come follow us there. We would love to have you. But here it is one last time with Optimus uh, <laughs> surfing on Deluxe Class Crosshairs. Both of them- No feet! <laughs> Look, no feet, Ma. Both of them <laughs> from Transformers Siege in the War for Cybertron, and we will see you all next time. Let go of me, Crosshairs! Bye-bye.